Did you know? Angler Steve Bass holds the top spot in tournament history with a 99 pound white marlin that was caught in 1980. Did You Know is sponsored by North Bay Marina. Day three is picture perfect here at the weigh-in scales at Harbor Island Marina. Sunny skies and even sunnier dispositions stand in stark contrast to the messy beginning. And now we're looking at a three-day tournament. We have 353 boats entered in a tournament, which is uh, an increase of uh, 24 boats over what we had last year. The top dog from Fenwick Island, Delaware, is one of 297 boats fishing today. And they're excited to be bringing in our first white marlin of the day. It's a nice looking one at that, but will it have the weight? 59 and a half pounds, 59 and a half. We still don't have a qualifier, but in line right behind him is the business out of Key Largo, Florida. He's bringing in a white as well, and he's got some shoulders. And girl, this is Michael Logan out of Beach Haven, New Jersey. Seventy-six pounds. We have a yes. That's uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just un <laughs> I don't know what to say, but I knew it was big because it was the longest and toughest fight for a white marlin I ever had. That's for sure. Seventy-six pounds could be tough to beat, but not for the Griffin out of Palm Beach, Florida. This crew knows they have a nice white marlin aboard. I would make the minimum uh, length. It's great. <laughs> Team effort all the way. I just cranked, that's all. <laughs> Hopefully it sticks. At 86 pounds, this is the eighth largest white marlin in the tournament's history, so there's a good chance it'll stick. The other big highlight of day three was the tuna battle, so when the intense struck this big yellowfin to the scales, we were impressed. 68 and a half pounds. We have a new leader. That's 68 and a half pounds of money right there, 460,000 bucks worth. And that'll wrap up a very, very busy day three. That a boat came through on the 355 bridge with a white marlin on board. Day four is beginning to pick up where day three left off. Just after the scale opens, in comes the berserker out of Ocean City, and they've got a white to be weighed. And at 72 and a half pounds, it's good for third place. Hey, I'm happy. <laughs> Chris Cusick will continue being happy because despite the other 286 boats fishing today, no more qualifying whites show up to be weighed in. And we're looking for a big, big day today. Day five usually provides a thrilling finish to the White Marlin Open, and with 327 boats fishing, that trend could continue. The MR Ducks boat of Ocean City has wasted no time getting into the scale. They've got a White Marlin with some size to it, but 86 pounds is going to be tough to beat. <laughs> 79 and a half pounds is the official weight, and that's good for second place and over 164,000 bucks. Looks like the locals are starting to represent. We started wheeling in, we got closer to the boat, and we knew it was big enough, and we got in the boat, and that was it. Started partying after that for a while. Can't beat 86, but we'll take 79 and a half. <laughs> Soon as the MR Ducks boat pulls off, Wirenut, another Ocean City boat, slides up to the scale. They too have a white marlin, and as the Waymasters measure the fish, everyone can see this one is pretty substantial. <laughs> And also the third largest white marlin in tournament history. 
The angler is Glenn Frost of Stevensville, Maryland, and this is his first white marlin. What, what are the odds? It's unbelievable. We fished as hard as we could. Unbelievable today. I'll be drinking a few, um, waiting for the, the others to come into the scales. While he's waiting, it's time for Glenn to take the dive every first time marlin angler is required to take. Hopefully this helps keep him from sweating too much as he waits to find out whether or not his first white marlin will be worth over 1.6 million bucks. Coming up next, the boats are in. Now it's time to hear from the winner of the 2017 White Marlin Open.